Hello and welcome to this video playing Nikolai Pashtukov. I already have lost two games against this guy. Don't remember how, where, when, why. <laughs> Hope to do better now. So playing this um, ready setup like a Slav without. Ugh. Slav without um, D4. I think I have really forgotten. I checked this briefly, but I have forgotten this. How it is actually played. No, it doesn't seem right. I had to insert the, this H3, right? So that G4 now would have been a move. Okay, now I'm. I think I'm. I'm still getting there because the d5 pawn is now tender and should drop. So I go back. But does he have b4? Yeah, he claims to have b4 here in this position. So okay. Yeah, moving the knight looks odd. And if I take it, it also looks odd. <laughs> anyway, so let's take take g7 or g7. Yeah, I can take with the queen. Bishop takes queen d5 with unclear consequences. Bishop takes bishop g7 is not as clear what the benefit is so here I'm I have one a pawn I don't know if the position is good though it's just uh, tough to um, tough to figure out I try to immediately okay so he doesn't mind a queen trade which I will agree on knight e4 is his idea to get um, everything active It's it's a bit strange to move that again, but it's difficult to develop and I need to use the pieces that I have in play. I think trying to disturb him. Knight e4, I'm going to take g6, play bishop f3. So that doesn't seem to work. And if he moves the bishop, I have rook g1. Okay, this I'm taking. Bishop f3. And... My development is lacking badly, but I can just use what I have and get get uh, somewhere. So I can actually cover. I can cover this, right? Rook b4, I have b3 and possibly bishop d2 coming. This is staying weak, is my point. The e4 pawn. So a3. King f5, I have a check. That's a blunder. I have to be fast, though. I'm, I'm seriously behind on the, on the clock. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good end game though. Maybe not the best technique possible, but it is um, a lot better for me. Just trying to simplify the position. 
go into that weak pawn on d6. It's amazing how much time I'm down. I mean, he's not doing anything special, but he's doing it quickly. Should be able to trade a rook now, no. Yeah, this is not bad, not good. In my quest of making it easy for me, I, I have uh, given up a pawn. That would be a draw. He will not do that ever. People like that will always flag because that's their main way of winning games. And now I'm actually blundering the rook. Yeah, okay. I was just by far too slow. I haven't adjusted to the time control. The game itself was just, yeah, what, 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 I don't know. Just, I'm just much better and, and, and should win, but I didn't. The opening was a little bit odd. And here, there is compensation for black for sure, but the way he played it, it was pretty much nothing. Like here, this is still probably compensation, but knight e4 is just a bad move, I think. It should just um, be good for me. Knight c6 is also good, actually. That's a very tactical way of doing it, like this. And now h5, bishop f5, knight d4. The bishop has no squares. Yeah, but okay. This was um, in particularly particularly helpful because I have I didn't have much time, and while this is uh, maybe equal with perfect play, it's just easy for me to do. So yeah, anyway, he was just quick the, the whole time. He was playing fast, and I'm, I wasn't quite speeding up all that much. And, um, yeah, I tried to be somewhat fast and was happy to return some material. I mean, it's really not worth looking at because it's it's just totally winning. When I have 12 seconds, that, that was awful. Yeah, um, difficult to adjust, yeah. Um, I have to really also find some solution here for those daily blitz games. The, switching the time is tricky, I think. It's really tricky um, because I had those slower games uh, before and now I have 3-0. Um, that's tricky, really. I wonder what the best um, approach is. Having the increment games is not bad for quality, but they are somewhat slowish, and the main games that I play, like in tournaments, is non-increment and faster. So having 3-0 as a more regular time control is not bad. And I'm not terrible at that, but I just have to get into that mode. And um, it's not so easy to do commentary for them, as we as we see. I'm kind of too slow. I mean, it was totally idiotic to be so much down on the clock by move 19. Yeah, that that is just. Uh, yeah, then you lose even games like that where Black was just basically playing for time from the get go. All right, thanks for watching.